to start the football season off. We watched some games this week, uh, but now we get to start it off Thursday night at home um, against a really good opponent in AU. I mean, when you watch how they play offensively and defensively, uh, Coach Ball's done a good job over there. And, um, you know, they uh, would beat Arizona last year. Um, I know they'll be excited about uh, playing the Sun Devils, I think, in 2016. I think they played them here, and the score was something like 13 to seven in the first first quarter, or something like that, almost the first half. So um, we anticipate a team that comes in here with a, with a lot of energy, um, with some new players as well. Uh, offensively, they, I think they settled down on their quarterback. They have a receiving core that's coming back. They have a really outstanding football player in their running back. Um, defense, the, the corners are are, are good. They've, they've got a free safety that's very active. They've got some good linebackers as well. So they're, they're coached very well. So. We anticipate, you know, coming into this game, um, what we can't get into is, is what we got into last year, a game that was marred by us by penalties. And I mentioned that to the team. You know, we, we played last year, and we got ourselves in a bad way with penalties, and we turned the ball over. Um, there's a lot of anxiety on this team right now about wanting to play a football game. Yeah. Some new coaches, they have some anxiety as well, you know. So I think it's, uh, it's a unique situation for all of us. Uh, come home, play in, uh, play in our stadium. But we're going to have to play good. And it starts uh, as starts soon as the ball is kicked, either way. Uh, we got to play good, and we got to have the mindset that we're going to have to play four quarters. Uh, so that's kind of what we're looking forward to uh, this weekend. Question. Coach, I know you just touched on the penalties there, too. But I know it's practice, but through camp and stuff, I know you've addressed it. Players have talked about it. how do you feel the team has responded to that. I'll let you know after the game. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you know uh, when the first one goes thrown. I'm gonna go. Don't 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 start. Whatever you guys do, don't do it. Just don't don't go down that path. You know, it's just it's a bad path to go down. And you always you know we're here. There are so many new players here that are going to be part of this. You don't know how they act under the lights. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find out. You know, fans want to know. So do I want to know too. I know how they practice, but I don't know how they play in the game. I don't know what their anxiety level is going to be. So it'll be interesting, but we got to stay away from that. The turnovers and the, and, and, the, and, and the fouls, they just extend the game and just you put yourself in a bad way. Nick and then Chris. Herm, you mentioned the anxiety. Do you see that as a, as a healthy anxiety that they have? Oh, anxiety is always good. I wake up with it every morning. When you don't have anxiety in your belly, it's, it's good. Start the day off, you know. You know, I, I wake up with the personality of this. Every day starts off deserving of being a good day. That's how I live my life. Every day, it deserves to, to, to be a good day. That's that's how I think of life. And, and you know, you got anxiety in your belly that keeps you alive. When you got no anxiety, man, it's like, okay, what am I doing here? Right. So it's good to have it. It's just you got to control it. You got to know that that keeps you going, right? Um, and, and you know when you get a, when you get a hot story, you know you got to go rush, you got to go somewhere real fast with your cameras, like ooh, you know. But then when you get there, you take a deep breath, make sure you're filming the right thing, right? Make sure you're asking the right questions. So that's part of it, you know. That's part of your adrenaline that everyone has. And I think football, you just can't, you can't use it in a way where it hurts you, because it's a competitive game. It's competitive violence at the highest level within the framework of the rules, right? And you can't get out of that, can't get out of that box. First, uh, first week of the season, do you have any stories you like to tell, any special speeches this week? Uh, no, uh, not, not really. Uh, every team's a little bit different. Um, I, I kind of know what, what, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to say. Uh, there's some things I'm going to touch upon. Uh, but it's, 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 it's building up to the week of that, right? And then going in the locker room with these guys and coming out the tunnel, right? And, and then, it, then, then it starts. And then you just get locked in and you coach the game. Like I always say, make all the decisions. You got no control. When they step in between the lines, you got to watch and play. And then you got to correct and you direct and fix it. You know, that's what coaches do when the game starts. You got to fix things. How fast can you fix it? Right? That's, that's the game of football. They did this. How do we fix it? Chris. Chris Carbon, mm -hmm. Central Source. Uh, it seems like uh, DJ Taylor and Edwards may get some big opportunities in yeah. this game. 
uh, with Jordan Clark and Tamarcus, the situation. So are those guys going to start? And what do you think about just the We've got uh, – they're, they're going to play a lot. We, we have uh, seven, eight guys in secondary that they're, they're going to rotate. There's a lot of guys back there, a lot of, a lot of guys with talent. Got to get them some, some playing time. Now, and we anticipate that the whole season. We're not set like we were last year. But we knew it was 24 and zero over there. We're good, right? Kind of knew who the nickel back was. Every once in a while it changed. But I think it's, it's been good to watch these guys compete. And that's what we anticipate all season with. And we said that. We got eight guys that are going to play a lot. Are there any guys that you're willing to say are definitely not going to play in the game? Uh, the guys we don't dress, I mean, obviously not going to play. But, but you're talking about injuries. Injury. Uh, Jordan. Or yeah, jo Jordan. He, 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 to Marcus, no. No, 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 no. They'll be ready next week. That's what we anticipate, yes. Coach, Garrett, obviously. Oh, sorry, one more. Garrett Stansberry, he's been out for a while. Yeah, he's, he's, he, he's, he's, he's close, but we won't, we won't put him out if he can't go. Appreciate yeah. it. No. Coach, obviously, fans want to see some touchdowns from this offense. Um, what, gives you, what have you seen so far from this? <laughs> group that, you know, shows you that it's going to come together and work Thursday night? Well, not only the fans. I'm, I'm, I'm with the fans. I'm good, yeah. yeah it, you know, it, it's, it's easy to do them in the warm-ups. You got to do it in real-life competition now. Yeah. You know, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy every moment watching these guys. And as soon as you kick the ball off, it's like, okay, I'm going to watch our offense. I'm going to watch a quarterback, watch a couple, you know, Running backs and, you know, a couple of tight ends, receivers. Yeah, I mean, the object is to score, right? But uh, defenses don't just let you score. You, you got to earn it. So, yeah, I, I, and I, you know, that's one thing about football. No one wants to 10 to 7 game unless you win, right? And, but it's just hard to watch, you know. We, we used to play that way back in the day. 10-7, you know, hurrah, we're good. 9-6, I mean. People don't want to watch that. I mean, that's, you know, they want to see scoring, man. We live in a world where everything is fast. You want to see something going on, right? But hopefully we have some opportunities. And, and if we do, we need to cash in on them for sure. Hi, Hiram Ho, Dravino Devils Digest. Uh, this is the type of game where winning obviously is above everything, but winning without cracking up the playbook when you got Oklahoma State next week is probably even more of a priority on both sides of the ball. Is that even even more of a challenge or less of a challenge when you have an offense with so many newcomers at skill positions? Well, I think I, I, I think sometimes uh, less is more, and I just believe that anytime you open the season up, regardless, of, I, I just believe that, and and that's the discussion that uh, we'll have together as a staff. You know, how much do we have? How much do? And it's not has nothing to do with the point. Has something to do with us more than us. What can our players? do what they can. I want them to play fast. I don't want them to have to think. I want them to be dialed in and say, hey, well, this is what we're doing. Let's go. And then we can adjust from there. And I think when you can do that, they can play free. And I don't want smoke coming out of guys' helmets like, oh, man, what is that? You know, just let's, let's play the game and, and play fast. Use, use our speed. You know, we're, we, I think we I mean, generally, we, we historically here, since we've been here, we've been pretty fast. We can run on defense. We can run on offense. You know, we, we got guys that they're the kind of guys we kind of try to recruit. So I want to see that show up. I don't want to see guys with their blinker on, like, uh oh, wait a minute. I'm trying to think. I want guys to play free. So less is more for me. Tim in the back and then Mark. Herm, uh, coming out of camp, do you still like the depth in your defensive line, even with uh, Mike Matusa's injury? I, I, I do. I, I do. Um, now we just have to have a rotate here talking about secondary rotation there too, right? At the D line because we have so many guys and that, and that gives them the ability to just play hard, just go. And you know the game of football is real simple. Um, D line, all line, O line, they, they kind of control how the game's going to turn out for the most part. And uh, there's a, there's a good group up there, some newcomers, uh, some guys that, that that haven't played, but you know it, we're going to get them all in there. I mean it's going to be warm. Right? So that's going to be part of it, too, now. <laughs> hey, Coach. Mark McLuhan, 3TV, CBS 5. When it comes to Emory, do you say anything to him pregame before his first start here? And what should fans e expect to see watching him play? Uh, a very energetic guy. Um, um, has some talent. Has, has, 
has a really great arm velocity and can throw the ball from different slots. You know, he can throw it overhand, he can throw it here, he can, you know, he's, he, he can get it to some spots where you go, uh oh, okay. He's just got to be careful. You know, key to all that, sometimes you fall in love with your arm and the other team gets it. You just got to make sure when you throw it, you're throwing it in the right direction, in the right spot, right? And that's just, you know, his anxiety will be up too. He's never played in front of this crowd. You know, now he's played in SEC games, but he's never been here. He's, you know, he's a starting quarterback here now. And so I think, you know, we, we've had conversations and we continue to, we'll have some. And, and obviously before the game, we'll, we'll have one. But I'm going to just tell him to go play free. Don't, don't, don't worry about making mistakes. You just be you. That's why we got you here. You just go be who you are and we'll be fine. Good. Yeah, Herm, on a similar vein, how do you feel about the O-line's development? I think Coach Cav felt as though he's got seven guys he yeah. can count on. Yeah, there's a rotation there, too. There's a rotation on the O-line as well, and we've got some, some guys, you know, and this makes it kind of good, you know. You always need some more offensive linemen. You just do. That's how you build your team, you know. You build it with the foundation, the offensive, defensive linemen. And that's, that's important. Good. Oh. Yeah. Um, Herb, do you have a hunch as to which of your receivers may be able to get a lot of targets and catches, oh. like separate from maybe the group? You know, it'll be interesting you ask that question because um, <laughs> uh, the veteran guy is, 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 is obviously 22. Right? But there's a bunch of young, talented ones there that haven't played a lot. I think it's going to be interesting for me, too, to watch Glenn call the game. And how, you know, I'm going to be in communication with him, obviously. But how he calls the game. And, and, and we got some, got some interesting stuff. It's going to be interesting how he decides who's getting. And I think it's like anything else. When you get a hot player, you get it to him. For me to sit here and say, I don't know. I'm like you. Do, do, you, you, um, do you lean more toward? Opening it up, even in the first game, if it, even if it shows opponents more, in order to get into more of a rhythm with your passing game. I, I think the, the the key is, how, how, what does it take for us to win, right? And, and that's you have a plan going in, and then obviously things happen in the course of a game. Score can dictate that. A lot of things can dictate that, and then from there you go. But um, you know that's that's kind of how we play. I mean that's just how I think anyway. And, and I'll, you know, whatever it takes for us to win, that's what we have to do. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, bottom line, at the end. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thanks, All right. Thank Thanks, you. Girl.